What's happening, everybody? This is the What in the Florida Show. I am the host, y'all. OMG is Wix. And today I have a, a special show for y'all. Now, if y'all know, Florida just recently uh, experienced a hurricane. Um, and they, they left some devastation. Y'all know, um, as Floridians, we stick together. Florida strong, y'all. We're going to come together. We're going to rebuild. And we're going to keep uh, moving as one unit as we call Florida, because Floridians got to stick together, because a lot of people be trying to take us out, you know what I'm saying, because we different, but we got to stick together, y'all, so uh, like I said, um, any organizations, just please uh, send them to me, I'll get the word out there, and we can try to do this thing together. Now, with that being said, y'all know that this is Florida, um, and no matter what, Florida is going to Florida, so before we get to this Florida, can y'all hit that like for me, can y'all hit that subscribe for me? And can y'all please tell a friend um, that we are floridering out here, high level floridering. Now, without further ado, y'all, let's get to all this floridering. What in the Florida? Now, when you live in Florida, one thing you do get used to is alligators. The other thing you get used to is hurricanes. I mean, with Florida having the most hurricanes than any other state, I mean, the next state, I think, is Texas, and it's almost half the amount of hurricanes Florida received. You kind of find different activities. Normally, the power goes out, the internet goes out. You got to entertain yourself. Um, and, and sometimes Floridians find ways to entertain themselves. Like this next clip. Roll the clip. Now, I'm not going to lie, that looked like a lot of fun. And I look like, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking like, I need to do that the next time a hurricane come. I need to get out there and do that because that looked fun. Like, for real, that looked fun. Now, being a born and raised Floridian, I know one thing you got to do is you got to cut the grass before the hurricane comes because if you don't, it's going to look like a jungle the next day. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, I've seen people cut their grass before the hurricane. I've never seen this before. Roll the clip. take y'all back to what I think happened. I think he was sitting there, right? He was like, hey, I need to cut this grass before the hurricane. And you know how you just let time pass, you're doing other things, you think like, I still got time, I still got time. And then the hurricane was there, it was like, oh, I ain't got no more time, let me get out there while the hurricane is still early. You know what I'm saying, before it get too crazy. So I think this is what happened in this situation. Now being from Florida, uh, we do know that there's gonna be some videos of somebody outside doing something like this. Roll the clip. Now, he was doing this to the Michael Jackson song, but of course, YouTube won't let me, you know, play the song, so I had to, you know, substitute it with this song. So I apologize about that, but it was to Michael Jackson, What About Us? So a lot of people don't know what it's like to be a Floridian. Uh, we deal with hurricanes, we deal with alligators, we deal with all of these things, right? Uh, we deal with, you know, tragedy, we deal with loss, and we deal with, you know, disaster different. The way I view it is you can sit down and cry, or you can just make the best out of the situation. Roll the clip. Now the amazing part to me is how is there a hurricane? How is there flooding and you still got the lights? Now a lot of people are like the lights are on. I'm more surprised that the lights and the electricity is actually on. Now later on she did release another video saying that after the video she posted, she turned out, you know, she hit the breaker, everything was shut down. So y'all don't be in the comments like, oh, she, you know, she let the lights on, she got the lights on, she cut the lights off, and then she got out of the water. Now I don't know if y'all know this, but I've been an FSU fan since I was about five years old, maybe even younger than that. Um, but I've been an FSU fan, like I said, Deion Sanders, 
Charlie Ward, Peter Ward. Like, we can go Warwick Dunn. We can keep going with why, you know, I'm an FSU fan. Although I still root for other Florida teams when they're playing against teams that are not FSU. Um, and then when they play against each other, I just kind of make fun of both, you know, team fan bases. That's kind of what I do. I've always done this. Uh, but if y'all know, y'all know, FSU hasn't been having the best year. I mean, if I, I'm going to be honest with y'all, it's hard to watch, y'all. It's very hard to watch. Um, so I just stop watching and I just get the highlights, which never highlights in FSU's favor is always highlights for the other team. But I will say at some point, FSU was bound to look good. I just didn't think it was going to be like this. Roll the clip. I'm telling y'all, this was the best that FSU looked. I mean, I think he still lost. To the, to the hurricane, I mean, he's, he's good, he's good. I'm just saying the hurricane wins one, but you know what I'm saying? It, it, it was the best that FSU looked. Now, you know that after a hurricane in Florida um, and everything, you know, the power comes back on, the first thing people do is they get online because you gotta catch up with all the Florida videos that happened throughout that time. Um, there was one guy that even decided he was gonna live stream while his place was being flooded. Um, Roll the clip. The fact that he rolled this out in a kayak was probably the most special part out of all of this. This is what I'm telling y'all. Floridians is, you know, we're gonna Florida no matter what. Uh, we're, you know, you can't, at some point you get tired of being sad and crying about stuff and you just kind of got to embrace it. We, you know, with being a Floridian and being living this Florida life. Now, after the hurricane, I know a lot of people worry about this next video. Me personally, I worry about the floating fire ants pile. That's what I be worried about. Like, that's the scariest thing to me to see. Uh, but this, it is pretty common in Florida after a major storm to see something like this in Florida. Roll the clip. Yes, y'all, that is an alligator, a baby alligator just going down the side of a road in the, in the you know, the water flow. That's all that's going on, y'all. Florida is gonna Florida, you know what I'm saying? But that, was another episode of the What in the Florida show. I'm the host, y'all. OMG is Wix. Can y'all please hit that like for me? Can y'all please hit that subscribe for me? And can y'all please tell a friend that we high level Florida over here? And if y'all do want to submit videos uh, for, and if y'all do want to submit videos for the next What in the Florida show, see, we only have, to, we only have one requirement, y'all. It has to be in Florida. Y'all can't send me a what in the Florida show of something that happened in Georgia or South Carolina or somewhere like that. It has to be a Florida video. But other than that, we going. We, we rocking, y'all. We rocking. Uh, but uh, leave me in the comments some things that y'all feel like would improve the show or what y'all want to see on the show. Um, and and we're going to just keep moving forward and growing this thing. But without further ado, I appreciate everybody. And that is on Florida. What in the Florida? Florida.